I remember that. This is uh, the death battle between uh, Black Widow and Widowmaker, both characters I actually am not familiar with. So, hey, we'll just jump in 3, 2, 1, and play. Although we'll probably just skip past it beyond this point. You do the rest, Editor Justin. Be heroes or villains, but many are thrust upon these roles with very little regard and must simply make the best of their new stressful life. Like Black Widow, the co seriously turned ally of the Avengers, and Widowmaker, the deadly but unwitting adversary of Overwatch. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. Well, and it's our job I'll to say that Natalie just armor and skills. She may be considered a quote unquote master battle. assassin, but. That's all she's got going. Natalia Romanov, more commonly known as the anglicized Natasha Romanov, is one of the more or curious Natasha, members sorry. of the legendary Avengers. Yeah, unlike most of them, she doesn't have any ridiculous superpowers, and she even started out as a bad guy. Like really? The secret agents, Natasha's well, actually, past is off. a mystery. One account. Ninety-one. Okay, hold up. <laughs> she's got power. Who taught her the art of combat? His teachings were so affluent that Natasha was kidnapped by an order of assassins known as the Hand, intending to train her as their master assassin. Luckily, Wolverine and Captain Boy Scout rescued her, but she eventually put her talents to use working for the KGB and becoming a famous ballerina. However, oh. the most likely story was that Petrovich admitted a young Natasha to a secret Soviet program called the Black Widow Ops. There, in the infamous uh, Red Room, it. Natasha was trained to be the deadliest spy in the world. She learned all sorts of stealth, assassination, and martial arts techniques, including the newly invented Sambo style, which is basically mm -hmm. like street fighting judo mixed with the craziest grappling moves ever. Like, oh, that? that explains a lot. <laughs> She learned dozens of other martial arts, including karate, Muay Thai, Aikido, and Kung Fu. And she's mastered all sorts of weaponry, becoming an expert marksman. Damn, sign me up for the spider ups. Don't get the wrong idea. The Red Room was brutal. Natasha was brainwashed, literally programmed with false memories, which included her days as a ballerina. She was even forced oh. to duel other members to the death crazy to think about considering how much went into each one's training but all the more to transform her into the ultimate stone cold spy codenamed black widow yeah Jeez. sometimes that's what you gotta do if you want to be a winner when i was a kid mama boomstick trained me and some friends to eat over 60 hot dogs in 10 minutes i was the only one who survived <laughs> that's wow you should see it coming out well, while Natasha was plenty deadly on her own, she got one more gift from the Red Room. A super soldier serum! Because at the time, oh. everyone and their dog was trying to make the next Captain America, but she wound up with the knockoff dollar store version. Damn. The Nazis decided to kill the only person in the world who knew how to make it. Seriously, what was this guy thinking? Even still, she received some impressive benefits, including a beyond Olympic level physique, inhuman resistance to poison and disease oh. and slowed aging so she gets to keep her good looks for over a century and run up to 35 miles an hour yeah that's pretty good too as oh. the black and widow yet, natasha spider-man was still out running her here. peers soon becoming the kgb's top operative taking on the most perilous of missions it wasn't long until she found herself face to face with an adversary who proved her match iron man Hey, when it takes a super suit with enough munition to wipe out a whole city to stop you, you know you're pretty good at what you do. To destroy Iron Man and his team of Avengers, Black Widow recruited Hawkeye and attempted to sway him to the dark side. But to her surprise, the exact opposite happened. Yeah, huh. turns out Hawkeye is so goddamn handsome that he literally love struck the brainwashing out of her. And wow. So Black Widow betrayed her country and became Check an ally free. of the <laughs> And while keeping up with the likes of Iron Man and Thor is no easy feat, she held her own not just with her amazing talents, but also her plethora of gear and gadgets. Oh, Ad, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's just, it's, not, it's nothing. Where does she keep them all in that bodysuit? It's like super tight. I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything, but the logistics are baffling. Well, not only is her suit composed of an abnormally durable Kevlar, she has several gadgets hidden within her gauntlets. The Widow's Line is a retractable grappling hook that lets her swing like Spider-Man. Cartridges oh. of tear gas pellets and explosives serve obvious purposes. And then there's the Widow's Bite. What, like a spider bite? How's that <laughs> I released a spider. Oh. Huh. Wow, that was pretty shocking, Wiz. <laughs> You broke your glasses, idiot. I don't know. I don't see 
Even without the KGB, Black Widow remains one of the top assassins in the world. She's so skilled with a sniper rifle, she could cut Hawkeye's bowstring while he's in mid-shot, forcing him to miss his target. To put this in perspective, the average thickness of compound bowstring is about one hundredth of an inch thick. That's as thin as a fingernail. And she made this shot from hundreds of feet away. She's quick enough to easily dodge point-blank gunfire, skilled enough to defeat 100 men by herself, and strong enough to snap a guy's neck with just one kick. Pretty impressive, as it takes Jesus. 600 pounds of force to break the human neck. <laughs> she's so goddamn tough, she's taken a grenade to the face from a few feet away, and she was fine. And she was slightly she bruised, bruised, right? <laughs> slightly bruised with a burn. A car, and she was fine. So much for that super serum being dollar store junk, right? Well, this durability extends beyond physical toughness. After all, she doesn't exactly have bulletproof skin or anything like that. Rather, she possesses a staggeringly strong drive to survive, no matter what. Yeah, like the time when she had to go through intensive surgery while she was still conscious. Just Fuck. imagine. <laughs> she felt every cut, every pull, every movement as the surgeon sliced open her stomach and sewed up her insides. Despite the incredible pain throughout this entire ordeal, which likely lasted several hours, for her own sake, she could not move a muscle. I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, that reminds me of my vasectomy. Both of them. But even alongside the Avengers, Natasha maintains a stray <laughs> sense of morality. Her path to redemption has been a rocky one, as her personal quest to destroy the Red Room has left a trail of bodies in its wake. This is one redhead you don't want to mess with. <laughs> Jesus. While the stories of many world-class assassins often carry a truckload of baggage, few are quite as heartbreaking as the case of Amelie Lacroix. That's even more true than you think, but we'll get there. Growing up, Amelie never aspired or trained for combat. In fact, she devoted much of her life to becoming a world-renowned ballerina in Paris, France. Huh. Now, I've noticed it's almost a requirement for all badass assassins to be ballerinas or something. So uh, I started working on a few moves myself. What? Wait, hold on! Ah! Amelie's husband, however, was a key figure for Overwatch, a global peacekeeping organization spearheading operations against a terrorist group called Talon. Talon tried over and over to kill this guy, but they just couldn't pull it off. So instead, they kidnapped Amelie. Damn. Oh. Not cool. Thankfully, Overwatch quickly rescued her, and life returned to normal. Or did it? Nope. Because out of nowhere, Amelie killed her hubby in his sleep. Turns out, the kidnapping wasn't just a simple ransom or attempted lure. Talon ruthlessly subjected Amelie to intense neurological reconditioning, molding oh. her into the perfect brainwashed sleeper agent. Right, because oh. she was sleeping next to him in their bed, and then BAM! First kill! Leaper agent! Right, sure. She returned to Talon to complete their psychological and physiological reconfiguration process. When all was said and done, Amelie Lacroix was no more. In her place stood the cold-hearted assassin known as Widowmaker. Ah, I get why she's called Widowmaker. Though it is kind of weird that the widow she was making was her. Brilliant deduction, Boopstick. Widowmaker embodies the cold-hearted killer trope so well, it's actually literal. Talon's experiment slowed her heart rate and suppressed her emotions, turning her into an actual cold-blooded killing machine, hence the cold blue skin. That's not really a thing, is it? Turning your skin blue like that? Oh, I just figured she was the girl smurf all grown up. Gotta be some trauma. There's actually a pretty easy way to turn your skin blue. You just need to drink some colloidal silver. Uh, is it safe? Oh, yeah, sure, no doubt. It's 100% non-toxic silver. Okay, bottoms up. <laughs> anyway, the blue makeover wasn't just for show. With her heart rate down, her body's movements and vibrations are highly reduced. The blood pulsing through your hands can actually bump up your shot. It's not by a lot, but when you're aiming at something a thousand yards away, even a tiny bit of movement matters. This might not sound too difficult, until you consider that a typical human heart rate in a stressful situation can exceed 100 beats per minute. A perfect sniper has to time their shots between almost two beats per second. So even though she started pretty late, Widowmaker skipped years of killing people school with just this one little tweak. Talon's manifesto is that humanity is made stronger through conflict. 
And so Widowmaker was taught a variety of different combat and covert techniques to be ready for any violent possibilities. She's ridiculously athletic. Just look at her go. And she's got plenty of handy tools to help her kill people even faster. She carries a grappling hook with a 65-foot cable, perfect for getting around any terrain in an instant. Her venom mines stick to most surfaces, and after being triggered by movement, release a deadly toxin. And give her a ping in her funny-looking spider helmet. That's Widowmaker's recon visor, basically multi-screen super goggles. They provide infrared sight that spots heat signatures through walls and transmits multiple feeds. Then there's her signature weapon, the one, the only, Widow's Kiss. It may look like an oversized SMG, but with a click of a button, it turns into a badass sniper rifle. As a sniper, this baby can fire at four different levels of power. A fully charged shot hits ten times stronger than a standard one, making the Widow's Kiss one of the deadliest rifles in the world. Unless you're wearing some really heavy armor, it'll kill pretty much anyone with just one shot. Wiz, build me one now. <laughs> yeah, with your luck, your hand will probably get stuck in one of the moving parts, and I'll have to be the one to amputate it and build you a mechanical replacement. Yeah, I'm in. You don't know that, stupid Wiz. Widowmaker is one of that long shot, just like and has the feats to prove. Right, it's like she's taken on Overwatch members multiple times. I can't times, get it out. Effortlessly defeating some of their own top agents, like fellow sniper Anna Amari, whose cybernetic eye can see six times greater than a normal one. Oh. And she pulls this off while achieving ulterior goals, such as when she baited Tracer into unknowingly allowing her to assassinate a diplomat. That's some intense on-the-fly multitasking. Wow. And she's way tougher than she looks. Her visor can protect her from a sniper shot to the face. And she even took a hit from Doomfist Gauntlet. This thing can take down a skyscraper. But she was fine. While it wasn't wielded by Doomfist himself at the time, it clearly struck with some serious power. An average skyscraper ranges between 250 to 300 feet tall. To topple it in one go, you need a force equivalent to at least two tons of TNT. You sure oh. talent didn't slip her some super serum and a drink or anything? Cause that's ridiculous. Cause I was thinking, yeah, that, that also, would be the main dividing thing. Combat may be her forte. Widowmaker is skilled enough to take out an entire armed security force up close while avoiding their gunfire. The blue bombshell can do it all. Kinda sucks that Talon drained her of all emotion, cause now she can't appreciate how badass she is. It's kinda like how I sometimes forget I have a shotgun for a leg until it. Ah! Uh. I already know. <laughs> uh, I guess they'll just play. God, I hate it when that happens. Talon's experiments may have yielded astounding results, but I'm not sure they were quite so thorough. In fact, every Christmas, a certain blue skinned woman can be found leaving a rose at her late husband's grave. So maybe, just maybe, Amelie isn't quite gone for good. A single death can change everything. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the That is all super tough to call. Because I was thinking, like, you cut, it's got to be the super soldier serum that will let uh, Nally do her thing. But if the durability of Widowmaker is there, then this is actually pretty tough. I'm giving it to, to uh, Black Widow. Yeah, I want to say that she too. She took on alien assassins. That's true. Granted, it was to a draw. And she almost lost the second fight. Yeah. That's an alien assassin. Yeah. I was but, like, is it just like staying on this for a while? No, they're talking. Yeah, together. they're just talking for a little bit. But <sighs> that is tough, dude. Yeah. All right, perfect. Let's, let's give it to Black Widow. Spidey. I am the spider. Shoot him with a web blast. I am not that kind of spider. <laughs> huh. With the way the art started off, I thought it was going to be a what's it called? Right. A sprite battle. No, it's 3D model. Interesting. Odd that they didn't use the heads up display yeah well like the same scope
Fuck that bird. Oh no, we got censored. This is Spider Man. He looked away. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> how fast is that thing to shoot? It is a sniper rifle. I'm sorry, but you had to be aiming down the sights for it to work like a sniper rifle. I played the game. No motorcycle was actually harmed in the making of this <laughs> 3D animation. Okay. Good old fashioned fuck your escape ship. <laughs> For a second, I thought she was gonna come through the door. <laughs> what makes you think you could sneak up on me? <laughs> I'm a goddamn Avenger. My fucking eyes! Yeah, that poison don't do shit. Right, she's immune to that. <laughs> I too can dodge bullet fire. If anything, maybe like. Black Widow would have a lot more experience because she's older. And a literal super soldier. Yeah. Also. She also has the glow up. She also has like superior gun skills seeing as how she shot a fucking, what's it called? A bowstring. Yeah. From God knows how far while it was fired. There's a the grab. What? I can survive anything. Nice theory. Let's test it. And it actually does move. Okay. Damn! Which one was the cold hearted chick again? Given her history, Natasha obviously brought a lot more combat experience to the battle than mm. Widowmaker. Even still, this was far from one-sided. Widowmaker's arsenal in particular made it difficult for Natasha to outgun her in ranged combat. Right. Except for the Venom Mine, given her enhanced immune system. Mm. But once Widowmaker was disarmed, something which seems to happen a lot, Natasha <laughs> had the upper hand. Like, literally. She's way better at hand-to-hand. -hand. Mm. That's a no-brainer just based on how many martial arts she knows, her super serum boost, and how many people she's had to judo to death. <laughs> they both could dodge bullets and were expert shots, but Widowmaker has never shown capabilities equal to Natasha breaking a neck in one strike, running 35 miles per hour, Fuck. or shooting a moving bowstring. Mm, they right. were pretty evenly matched when it came to taking hits, though. Natasha threw right. a grenade to the face while Widowmaker got hit by Doomfist Gauntlet. Yes, but while the gauntlet can take down a skyscraper, even in Doomfist's own hands, it certainly doesn't seem capable of doing so with only one hit. Much less in the hands of a skinny teenager. Hell, Doomfist escaped prison by punching through a concrete wall with his bare fists. I don't God think damn. Buddy Kid's gonna pull that off. Just a hunch. Widowmaker's certainly <laughs> you don't know. Moments, but she just couldn't God match Natasha's greater speed, precision, and decades of experience. They just couldn't find that widow of opportunity. The winner Shut is up. Black Widow. All right. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Death Okay. And then we got the next episode. Uh, I forget who uh, she fights against, but it is uh, Captain Marvel. Is it Captain Marvel versus Captain Marvel? That'd be great. But here, we'll see. Yep. Yep.
Actually, that's kind of tough. <laughs> that's actually really tough for me to tell. Just talking to them just very briefly. Yeah, they both have like feats just beyond measure. It's just Yeah, they're they're both extremely powerful. But I kind of want to give it to Shazam for the whole purpose of he has the power of Hercules. Does he also have wisdom as well? Yeah. Yeah, so he has the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the um I can look it up right now. Yeah. In the meantime, yeah, it this one was definitely a closer. And as far as the presentation, I did like how it was more of a build up. Um, it felt a lot more natural. I can see why people were saying that, like, oh, well, they decide to uh, cut the whole, like, ready and fight type of sequence to set it up. It was much more f realistic in this one and just the approach. And they also were able to, like, sprinkle in a little bit of absurdity from both sides, even though uh, Black Widow, no, not Widowmaker, did miss a couple of those shots. Actually, a lot of those shots, like, from the Skyscraper to just, like, point blank because. Black Widow is just way too fast. And she has a lot more weapons. And she's also 91. <laughs> so, yeah. Our boy Billy Batson, Shazam here. Mm -hmm. He has the Wisdom of Solomon, which gives him enhanced intellect, nigh omniscience, knowledge and focus of the gods, the strength of Hercules, which is just superhuman strength, the stamina of Atlas, which is superhuman stamina, invulnerability, superhuman durability, superhuman endurance, the power of Zeus, which is the power over unlimited lightning, immortality, electricity generation and manipulation, lightning and electricity absorption, creation of electric force fields, courage of Achilles, which is indomitable will, and the speed of Mercury for speed, superhuman speed and teleportation via the rock of eternity. Teleportation. That's it. You got the super saiyan hair. I can just teleport to you. Not only that, night omniscience. <laughs> so it's like I already know dude there, there's some scaling there that <laughs> needs to be addressed and is there anything I want to point no just uh, as far as our uh, our widow fight I think everything was just said in that whole like elaboration mm. it was certainly close but it was experience and just hand to hand combat that came through at the very end because it just it came down to that it was a good fight and I liked how they presented it it was it was not just one sided. It, it just was that turning point of like being disarmed that really turns the tide. But all right. But I guess anything else they would need to elaborate on would just be in their um, death outcome pod uh, podcast. I liked it, and I got to know more about both characters. God, that's such a dark story from Widowmaker. Granted, what was it? The Red Room is. Ooh. Yeah, they took out her baby maker in there. God damn it. <laughs> Black Widow chokes Widowmaker with goat wire. Harder. What? What? <laughs> Harder. Huh? What? Uh, anything else you would like to add, Gabe, before we just sign off, actually? Um, I don't know. That was cool. I was, liked it. They're cool people. <laughs> the, the, the bullet hit bullet and it goes, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> Where is that fucking interview? <laughs> yeah, all right. What in the year? So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hashtag wow. <laughs> <laughs>